friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do my June book haul. And let me just say, this is the biggest book haul I have ever done. There are 30 plus books to get through. I have been super intimidated about filming this and sharing this haul with you guys because it's a crap ton of books to get through and I don't want to be like judged for like buying too many books and spending too much money on books but it's my main hobby as you can tell behind me. Um, but the books are stacked over here. You can kind of see them um, and you probably saw some of them from the thumbnail but I want to go ahead and jump in because this is going to be quite a long video as it is so let's go ahead pull up our hair and get started okay now that that's done let's get started okay so I did try to break it up the best that I could like in chunks to show you um, how I got like some free books this month, some cheap books this month, and then I paid some full price for lots of books. The first stack that I want to go ahead and share with you, well, I actually received all of these for free in one way or another. Um, I picked up this chapter sampler from Barnes & Noble. It is the Sarah Dessen Once and For All um, sampler and I got it for free and I figured I've never read a Sarah Dessen book before. I did try saying anything on audio before but that's before I was really into audiobooks and I wanted to sample her writing so what better way to do it than for free buy a free chapter sampler of her like newest release. Next up the book that I am probably the most excited about or have been in the last couple of weeks is Obsessed, A Memoir of My Life with OCD by Alison Britz. I already have a full review of this on my blog. I talked about this already in Books That You Need to Pick Up Now video. Um, I just, I absolutely love this book. I plan to do a full review, like closer to release date, so sometime in September. And also, I have already read this book, so I will be talking about it more in my wrap up. Okay, both of these books I got from my neighbor. The first one is The Bracelet by Dorothy. Love. It's a historical fiction set in Savannah, Georgia in 1858. And the second one is The Kitchen House, also a historical fiction set on a plantation in Virginia. She works at Barnes & Noble, um, so she gets books sometimes, and these are ones that she gave me to read. And I was sent two additional books to read. I got The Noble Servant by Melody Dickerson. I got this by the Fiction Guild. They send me books often to read. This is the classic fairy tale of the Goose Girl, kind of retold, so that should be pretty interesting. And then I also picked up Dear Mr. M by Herman Koch. Koch? 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 From Blogging for Books, and you get to kind of pick your books off of there. A Tale of a Writer in Decline, A Teenage Couple in Love, and a Missing Teacher, and a Single Book that Entwines All of Their Fates. Next stack of books I got for super cheap at thrift stores this month. There are four of them. The first one is How to Be Parisian, Wherever You Are, Love Style and Bad Habits. It's not one of those books that I'm going to sit down and read cover to cover all at once, but it has lots of great pictures and tips, and it's just like one of those fun coffee table books, and I really liked it. I got this one for $3 at Goodwill. And if you remember, I have talked about some World War II books that I wanted to read, and I don't believe that this one made the list, but I've heard nothing but good things about Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sapetis, and this is one of those books that every review I read, every review I watch, this is a book I see mentioned over and over again as being awesome, great, wonderful, and I've heard nothing but good things. I've never heard a bad thing about this book, and the author herself does a lot of research for her books so I'm looking forward to this one. Then I was so shocked to find both of these for different reasons. These two books right here, this is a paperback copy of Unseen Messages by Pepper Winters. If you don't know, Pepper Winters is a self-published author and the reason why I was so shocked to find this one is it is signed right here in the front. To find a book in a thrift store that is in such great condition for a dollar and it's signed um, I'm really excited about it. It is a super chunky book as you can see, but her books usually do read pretty fast. For three dollars I got this copy of The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. This is a book that I actually read on that app that I talked to you guys about called Insta Read, where you can like basically read the book, get the full book and knowledge and spoilers and all that and, like 10 to 15 minutes and I read through because I've heard nothing but great things about this book but it's super chunky and I was just like I'm never gonna read it so 
I read through it and like about it and stuff, but then I was so intrigued to read it. So I picked up this copy for $3 and I couldn't be more excited. Okay, I hope I'm getting through this pretty fast, guys. I'm just letting you know right now that I'm not going to have time to go into deep thoughts about any of these books. Otherwise, we would be here forever. But I will have, and this is going to be a labor of love, guys, I'm going to have every single book that I mentioned in this book haul linked in the description box for you. Um, a link to the Goodreads page so you could check out the synopsis of each book and also a place that you could purchase it on Amazon. So check that out in the description box. Okay, this is a lot of books. Believe it or not, I actually got all of these books from Book Outlet. I did show this on one form of my social media, um, but I got 11 books on Book Outlet. It was like $53. I actually have the invoice. It was $53.85, and that was with almost $18 worth of a coupon. I used Lala's Welcome to be in their blogger type thing. Thank you so much Lala for the coupon code. I got all of these awesome books. I got Wink Poppy Midnight. It says one is a hero, one is a villain, one is a liar, who's who. I love this cover. I've actually taken pictures of it like in the bookstore and now I actually have a copy. It's a fairly short book um, but the cover is gorgeous and I remember like back when it released I was just seeing pictures of it everywhere and just like the premise of it sounds really cool to me. I also picked up Exquisite Captive by Heather Demetrios. Um, I heard about this a long time ago from Lainey and I've just really been interested in ever since. I've only read one other book by Heather Demetrios but I really loved it so I'm hoping that I love this too. This is a genie story. Next up I got the new cover of 13 Little Blue Envelopes in paperback. I love these covers and I did have the first, I had this book and like a different cover but I got rid of it so I could get this cover and I also want to get the second book in this cover. I finally picked up Perfect Days by Raphael Montes. Montes, I'm not sure how to say the name, but I love this cover. I just, it's so cool, but I love it because I think it has diverse characters and it's like a murder mystery or a suspense or something like that. Um, a twisted young medical student kidnaps the girl of his dreams and embarks on a dark and delirious road trip across Brazil sounds so good. Heard nonstop great things about Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel and I finally picked up a copy and paperback and I didn't know it had deckled pages but it does and that means it's going to be so lovely to read. I have not read A Darker Shade of Magic yet but I did pick up the second book in the trilogy A Gathering of Shadows by B.E. Schwab and why not you know I'm gonna read it eventually right? browsing I did see the distance from me to you and it sounded interesting enough but then when I saw Lala haul it and talk about it I was like yes girl I want it to last year this was one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I never did get around to getting a copy but I finally have the smell of other people's houses and this is by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock also finally have a copy of this little baby I'm so excited about the beauty of darkness by Mary E. Pearson I really need to dive back into this world soon. I read the first book like two years ago now and I have the second book and I haven't read it but now I have the third so I can marathon it and I'm just so excited. But look at that size though. Oof. I picked up a copy of Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson and I love the shiny shininess of this cover. It's so pretty but I love Ray Carson as an author and I did love her. Um, I only read the first book in a girl of fire and thorns trilogy but i do want to read continue that one but i also want to pick up this one the covers of this series are like gorgeous and the last thing that i got at book outlet was a dear stranger by jenny brown this is like a collection of poetry and as you guys know i am trying to collect and read more poetry this year so this one just sounded really interesting and it seems fairly short and i should be able to get through it fairly quickly Moving on through prep by lisa bernbach and i actually got this for um trading on paperback swap and i've talked about that before where you send a book to somebody if they want it and then you know you can request books and you basically get it for free but i ended up having to pay like 49 cents for this book so but not bad because i've definitely been wanting it for a while it's really a cool book um naked and like the end papers are so cool but here it is 
naked, that spine, the bag, and then the end papers. It's really great like coffee table book or like if you're traveling or something like that. Love it. In my Once Upon a Book Club subscription box, I received this beautiful copy of Dark Breaks the Dawn by Sarah B. Larson. I've already read the first 25 pages and it was okay. It seems like it's gonna be like a fantasy because there's lots of names that I can't pronounce and like places and cultures and stuff like that, but hopefully I'll get into it. I just wanna say if you haven't seen the unboxing to go ahead and check that out. I will be posting pictures on my Instagram fairly soon. Song of the Current by Sarah Tolsher. Um, in my uppercase subscription box and I'm pretty sure I'm saying that name wrong but this was blurred by Stephanie Garber who wrote Carval and she says adventurous and dangerous song of the current will carry you into a treacherous and fantastic world which will which you will not want to leave um, this has pirates and like a fierce female captain and just swashbuckling fun you guys so if you want to go on an adventure on the high seas this is the book for you oh my gosh you guys we're making progress hang tight so that is more than half of the books we only have a little bit left to go okay this last stack of books you guys are books that i paid full price for and it makes me so sad that the stack is so big um but most of this is from my trip to richmond my four books you guys i only bought four books full price before i went to richmond so i finally caved and i picked up a copy of the life-changing magic of tidying up i am already reading this but again i'm not reading it fast or anything like that i'm only on page 20 but it's one of those books you pick up you read a little bit you put it down you pick it up you read a couple pages you put it down that type of thing but i finally picked up a copy because i need it in my life i also picked up bad romance by Heather Demetrios. I picked up Exquisite Captive by her this month and like I said I've read one other book by her but yeah I've been hearing nothing but great things about this book and I can't wait to read it and that cover though. have a copy of Down Among the Sticks and Bones. Absolutely had to have this book. Loved Every Heart of Doorway. Absolutely love the rep in this. I've already read this this month so look out for my thoughts and my wrap up. I am currently reading One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, and I am enjoying this. I am on page 232, so I should have this finished up within the next couple of days, but I picked this up because I definitely need to get on that uh, thriller, mystery, suspense books YA released this year because I'm doing the booktube awards and I need to get on the new releases. And we have my Richmond haul to visit two bookstores, Chop Suey Books and Fountain Books Inc. And I really had a great time. It's a, about a two hour drive up. So I just road tripped it and did it myself. And one day went up, went to the bookstores, had a little lunch and came back. But I got some great books to show you. The first one that I picked up is this poetry book. It is called Philadelphia and it is by Gina Myers and it is signed. What I loved about this is that the cover is actually handmade paper and then there is this print right here on the front that I love. It's very beautiful. Let's bring it in closely. It's so pretty. Hand bound and I just really love that like special extra touch and I'm just I'm so excited about it. It was ten dollars though you guys. Ten dollars. <laughs> Finally got a copy of We Should All Be Feminists. I know a million of you out there know how to say this author's name. Ch Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I know how to say Adichie, but the rest I'm not so sure about and I really shouldn't be butchering the name. Feminist, there's a TED Talk, you know, all the stuff. I also picked up a blind book and this is a blind, a blind date with a book and here it is wrapped and it says a poetry book wants to impress you with haiku for lovers of haikus and Instagram love. Best while see best read while seeking inspiration online, and it was eighteen dollars for this blind book. But I absolutely loved how it was wrapped, and I figured I could open it up for you guys on camera. So we're gonna do that right now. 
Oh, and I didn't even see this, but they have this little kind of return policy, how it works. I like how they wrote this. It says rejection policy. If your date is a heartbreaker, a repeat, or a loser, you have two weeks to bring back your misfired love in new condition with a receipt in exchange for store credit to try again less blindly <laughs> so i think that's really cool so let's see what it is i need scissors i didn't prepare sorry i'll be right i'll be right back okay guys here we go let's do it i'm nervous i think that's so cute like such a good idea it's a hard cover just so you guys know oh i don't know what it's gonna be <laughs> I already have this one. Oh, oh my god. No, I don't. I have one of his other poetry collections. Oh my god. I'm really excited. This is All the Words Are Yours Haiku on Love by Tyler Nat Gregson. And it's a signed copy, you guys. Oh my god. Totally worth it. Yay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Yay, Chop Suey Books. Thank you. The whole reason that I went to Chop Suey Books is because if you don't know, a while back there was a release of a book called Cold Summer by Gwen Cole and they have autographed copies there because when she did her release party earlier this year, she was there, a the local Richmond author. So she like supplies them with signed copies of her books. And yes, I got an autographed copy and oh my gosh, the back is so pretty. The front is so pretty. This is a book that I left off of my World War II books that I want to read. Um, I'm so excited to have this book. <sighs> but it deals with PTSD and time travel and just, oh my gosh, it's going to be awesome. But it is signed and it also came with an awesome bookmark, but it's signed. And I'm just so excited to have it. This is one of those ones that I want to read like sooner rather than later, if you know what I mean. So, City of Saints and Thieves, another release that I picked up because of BookTube Awards. Um, I haven't, I've been hearing like mixed things about this, so I wasn't going to pick it up. But when I saw it for $5.95, I was like, I mean, yeah. Now moving on to the last three books in this massive haul. These are the books that I picked up at Fountain Books Inc. And I went there because they are known to supply readers with copies of Maggie Stiebotter books that are autographed. So she comes in from time to time and makes sure all the books are autographed, which I think is super cool. So if you want some autographed books, definitely go check out those two bookstores in Richmond. I do have a blog post all about my trip and the books that I got. So I will link that for you in the description box. But let's go ahead and dive into the books, the last three books. So like I said, went to Fountain Books because I wanted a Maggie Steve about her book that was signed. Um, she's one of my favorite authors. She's semi-local. Um, and I mean, I didn't have like a book in mind. I was like, I just want a book that's signed by her because like a queen. But yeah. So I went there and there were like a couple of books, of course, that I need of hers. But I was smart and proud of myself that I only chose one. And I picked up the third book in the Wolves of Timber, the Wolves of Mercy Falls, Timber Falls. Ha! I always forget the name of this series. <laughs> but I picked up the third book and this is Forever. And let's see. Oh, ooh, 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 back there, back here, you could see. Uh, 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 <laughs> There, I have Shiver and Linger, and now I have Forever. Maggie! I got it. It was just like a free bookmark, but read with pride. And it also has some great um, books with rep on the back. So loving that. And because it was newly released, I had to pick up a copy of Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. Another Victoria Schwab book in this haul. Yes, I absolutely loved Savage Song, so had to get this bad boy, but it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and it's also connected to my trip to Richmond now, which is also very exciting. The last book in this massive book haul is Vincent and Theo, the Van Gogh Brothers, written by Deborah Hellingman. Yeah, that's kind of close, right? Anyway, this is one of those books that I was really excited 
for the release of and I never got around to getting it because it's usually not available in bookstores like around here but of course it would be available in Richmond. What I love about this book is it actually has like some of the paintings in here um, and it also has like little like copies like this. I just I'm so excited. It's kind of broken up by years and I'm just I'm actually a lot more excited about it since I picked it up. Um, I actually stood in the bookstore and read the first page to make sure that the price tag for this book was worth it. It was it was $19.99. I think it will be a very interesting and unique read. So if you like art, you like the Van Gogh Brothers, definitely check this out. Woo! I tell you what, that concludes my June book haul. I'm so glad that it's out there for you guys to see all the books that I got. And you won't be seeing a book haul from me over the next couple of months. If you didn't notice, I did just a book haul. I should probably have let you guys know this at the beginning, but I figured I have more time to film, more time to edit, and hopefully you guys have more time to watch. So I'm splitting up my normal end of the month wrap up where I share my wrap up, my book haul, and my favorites, and I'm doing them all separate. Um, I'm definitely doing them for June because I knew I had 30 plus books and I did have quite a handful of of favorites um, but if depending on the next couple of months how it goes and if you guys like this format better where I split it up let me know um, but yeah I just decided to do it separate this month and I can do that you know what you think let me know if you've read any of these let me know if any of these are your favorites let me know what you think I should get to first but I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. If you have, if you've made it to the end, if you're here right now, like, let's see, I have to come up with a code word. Let's say all of the books. If you like say in the comments, all of the books, then I know you made it here to the very end. And I just want to thank you so much. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go have some lunch now and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.